Sure, my name is Mark Welch. I'm the Director of Urban Forestry for the Sea of Newton as well as the Tree Ward. The City of Newton, um, Newton has about 30,000 street trees and the city itself owns about a thousand acres of land. Now that land has schools and buildings and other things on it. But about 600 or 700 acres of that is forested land um, that we try to maintain as best we can. The Division of Urban Forestry, the, the aspect of the city that I'm responsible for, um, it is our mission or goal to serve our customers, which are the residents and citizens of the city of Newton. And our first priority is to do our best uh, to maintain a safe tree population where people are, which are our street trees and our park trees. And then the second aspect is just to ensure that they're there for our generations to come. Uh, the types of trees that the city of Newton has depends on where we're looking, if we're looking at the city's street trees. The majority of our street trees that were planted in the 40s, 50s, and 60s were uh, maples. They're Norway maples specifically. However, we have a few uh, other types of trees that we'll find along our streets. We have different varieties of oaks, red oaks, white oaks. We have linden trees, ash, ornamental pear trees. Um, we also have a few oddball trees. We have a handful of trees we are called cucumber magnolias. We have tulip trees, we have sweet gum, um, we have tree lilacs, crab apples. Overall there's probably about 60 different varieties of street trees in the city, uh, but most of them, almost 80 percent, are Norway maples. Um, on our parklands it's a similar makeup. We have red maples, white oaks, red oaks, hickories, ash, poplar trees, um, some aspen trees, as well as some linden trees and elms. Uh, the management of the city's trees, and as it relates to the four seasons of the year, does not change dramatically. One of the things that we do that is driven by the season is that during the springtime, middle of the spring to early spring, and late fall, we plant trees the ideal time to plant trees um, because of the, the growing conditions and the weather. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. The ground isn't frozen yet. From a tree removal or tree pruning perspective, the season really doesn't dictate what we do. We have the benefit of being able to do tree work regardless of the weather and the time of year. Winter time tends to be a bit of a better time of year to do tree pruning because we can see the structure of the trees better and make good judgment calls as to what branches should be removed and what branches can remain. Uh, tree removal can happen just about any time of the year. It really doesn't, isn't dictated by the seasons. The ordinary citizen or resident or person who comes in contact with their community, be it the city of Newton or another community, the best way that they can be involved is to be educated and understand the importance of communities' trees. They provide many benefits from heating and cooling, cost savings to property value to just a general sense of well-being and a general sense of, of place. And the best way that most people can get involved beyond being um, educated about it is to seek out groups or volunteer groups that may be caring for trees or other public spaces in their community. And in the city of Newton, we have a number of those groups, but one of the more important groups that does a lot of work directly for the city's trees is there's a group called the Newton Tree Conservancy. And one of the best ways that you can get involved is through tree planting projects that they are now conducting. Um, they also, in a coordination with myself, run what we call a citizen pruner program. And the Citizen Pruner Program is where we provide training and education to residents for uh, no charge. They will learn to prune small trees and mulch trees and care for small trees. And then in an organized event, uh, typically once a month, we go out and we care for small trees growing throughout the city of Newton.